Hi everybody, Candace here with Greenery Farms DIY. And today I am going to show this cute little bow maker that my husband made me. He did a lot of looking online to see how other people were making these little bow makers. And this is a triple loop one. So you see how full and pretty that looks. And this is one without any wire in it. This is one with wire and it's got two, two loops in it. You can make the tails as long as you want. Um, and then this is one that's more of a decorative mesh that I used um, that is also a ribbon. It has wire in it. When you're cutting your wire, remember not to use your fancy scissors. You're going to want to snip the metal first and then you can use your scissors for the part that doesn't have any metal. I use um, ribbon when I go to tension it down when I tie it. Um, I just think it looks nicer. Um, it gives it a nice little, if anybody was to see it, you would just see a little bit of a satin in there. So I just think it looks nicer. All right, so the way I do it is pretty simple. I grab just a ribbon, 36 inches long. Um, this is an unwired one, so there's no wire in it. And then I have another little ribbon I use for tying. Um, you can use a pipe cleaner if you want. Alright, so I just, you know, make sure the tie, uh, the little end is about in the middle, and then I just start wrapping it around. It's a little, a little awkward with the, the way the uh, camera is. And all you do is you just make sure you're just overlapping it just a little bit each time you go around. So I, if it's like an inch and a half, then I'll overlap lap it by about three quarters of an inch. All right, and then once you come to the middle, I just try to match up my tails and make sure they're they're nice and even. So you can see there's the layering there. And then all I do, it's a little awkward since usually I stand right in front of it, but for the camera, I'm not. I just come through, I tie a little knot, and I tighten it, and then I tie another little knot, and then you can decide if you're going to pull it to the back or the front, and then that's your bow. I think it makes just an amazing little bow, and then you can pull these out however you, you want to fan them out. I just think that looks darling, it's very pretty. And I did three loops around. You can do just two, so then it would look just like this if you did just two. But I like that third one that's in there. I think it gives a little bit more fullness. Anyway, so that is the bow maker that my husband made me. And um, the reason why there's so many different holes is I'm able to take these pegs out. And he made these out of oak, so they're very strong. So let's say I'm doing a really big bow. You know, it's going to go on a package. I would just move these further out, all the way out to this one, which would make a 12 inch bow when I'm done. So at its smallest, I can do um, a one inch bow, and then I can keep moving them to make whatever size it is that I want. Now right here in the middle, if I was to put them like this, this would be if I was taking the wires and moving them down into here, looping, you know, twisting, looping, coming back and doing that and building building a slightly different looking bow. But I actually like using my, my pegs this way. All right, well, I hope this helped answer any questions about how to use a bow maker and how to make your own bow maker. Um, Matthew used this really cute wood called, I believe, wormwood, wormwood is the name of it. We put little silicones, um, pieces on the bottom so that way it doesn't move around on the table and then he used oak dowels inside it so he went to the hardware store and he bought all the stuff to make this little bow maker for me and now they're going to be beautiful and then what I will probably do is see this is going to go on to something else and so what I'll probably do is tie that to what it's going to go on I'm going to have three bows on my tutus and I'm going to layer them so they're going to be, you know, decorative tutus once I'm done. So these bows are going on tutus 
So I'll use the strings that are back here to tie it onto something. But if I wasn't, I would probably just snip it and then hot glue it onto whatever it is I'm going to put it on. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for being part of Green Roof Farms DIY and the Green Roof Farms DIY Facebook group. Talk to you guys later. Bye.